Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with a new build. This time it is not for me, it is actually my mom since she needed an upgrade. She has an all-in-one PC, basically an iMac, but a PC version of it made by HP. So I decided to build her one very compact, very small. Not only that, she can pick the bigger screen, of a uh, bigger uh, monitor if she needed a bigger monitor and this does not come with a keyboard or mouse so the price for this is about five hundred dollars and so you know what let's get on with the parts list so first and foremost is you have the b450 by asrock itx am4 this is the cheapest that i saw since everything is really expensive nowadays i don't know why but for hundred dollars this was a great buy now that she's not going to upgrade anyways next up is by Western Digital 500 uh, gigabytes of NVMe uh, TLC right here 500 gigs should be enough 16 gigabytes of RAM 32 megahertz 30 3200 megahertz speed by Oloy don't know how to pronounce it but it's pretty cool and then we got the processor the AMD Ryzen 3 3200G has been selling out really quick so when it was available I just bought it right away $100 pretty good this is all she needs and then you got the, the Noctua the low profile Noctua it is the NHL 9A again this is needed for this case this came this case actually came with a power brick already but it was only 60 watts so I bought a $20 one for uh, $20 120 watts power brick which is pretty good 12 volt this is the only thing that she needs because the CPU actually has 65 watts of total power and then I got an exhaust fan just for this case this case didn't come with exhaust fan so I decided to buy one 50 millimeters really cheap and then last but not least, uh, I needed a 8-pin uh, because the motherboard only supports 8-pin. And so I had to buy an adapter, adapter because this only came with a 4-pin. So decided by buy a very cheap and looks like good reviews. 8-pin uh, adapter, 8-pin uh, right here. And then last but not least, the case right here. As you can tell, really small. All aluminum right here, USB 2.0. You got the grill marks right here, power button, and then as you can tell, only for ATX and everything else. But you know what? Let's take a closer look of this case right now. So here is the case right here after removing two screws in the back. Let's open this baby up. Here is the case right here. So you can tell it's really small, basically just enough size for ATX motherboard. So it, it comes with a Pico power supply right here. As you can tell, there's the four pin that I was speaking about. And then here's the 24 pin, and then here's the ground, and then 12 volt right here. Then here's your headers and power button connection, all of that. So as you can tell, just enough. And it's all aluminum right here. And then here is your uh, fans. 50, milli, 50 millimeter to exhaust or even intake whatever you decide so it's really small and I chose the silver because silver is just classy you know something that uh, can fit into, into any interior or office and just to make sure here's the back again so last but not least you know what let's get on with the build so let's open this baby up here is the motherboard right here. Let's see what we have inside. We have SATA, the brackets, and NVMe screw right here. The two antenna, and then CD, and instruction booklet. Oh even comes with a postcard. Imagine that. 
so we're not gonna need the antenna no no we'll need the NVMe screw and obviously the IO shield baby out huh. comes with the padding right here it's pretty cool all right let's put everything on top And let's open up the Ryzen. We won't need the fans, so let's just take out the CPU. Here is the Ryzen 3200G. Lined it up. Let's put some thermal compound right here. That should be enough. And then we're just gonna line up the holes right there one two three four including the back plate it's kind of tricky but this is how I've seen it and it seems to work we're just gonna put each screws one by one Just gonna hand tighten them for now. Then let's screw it. It's gonna do the X method. Alright, the Noctua is all attached. Alright, now that the Noctua low profile cooler is attached, let's obviously plug this in. This is on the CPU fan. Here is the CPU fan. It looks like it can reach really comfortably. There you go, it is attached. As you can tell, not a lot of wires uh, coming out, so I'm happy with it. The next thing is that let's attach the NVMe. 
again this is 500 gigabyte it was on uh, sale but mo basically all the NVMe and hard drives are going on sale so that was pretty good and here's the thing about this motherboard the NVMe socket is actually in the back so this is pretty simple right here there you go and then the screw of the NVMe is here really tiny absolutely tiny Make sure it's secure. It is. Flip everything back up again. So that is that for the NVMe. Next up is the memory. Here they are, right here. Again, this is 16 gigabytes of memory, 32 megahertz speed. I seem to be having trouble taking out one of them. It's in there for good. All right. Let's see here, let's just match the notch. Okay, we're good. Huh, that's interesting. I can't seem to uh, pull this back. Only these two are pulling back. All right, they are attached, as you can tell. Wiring is, everything's okay so far. So the next thing is, let's see. Oh, the next thing is putting it in the case. So as you can tell, the motherboard and everything else is in here. So I'm working on the case right now. The first things first is let's put the exhaust fan first on the case, which is on this side right here. So first and foremost, let's unbox. Again, this is 50 millimeters. Comes with the screws. And then the case itself. Here it is, really small. Again, it's an exhaust fan. So the way to attach it is actually you have to unscrew these three uh, screws right here. And then so it should sit uh, basically like this. And so I think since I wanted to exhaust, it should be this way right here. So you know what? Let's put the pants now.
right, everything is all set. Now next up is the mother, uh, this, the adapter. So this adapter actually comes with a Molex and a four pin to make it a eight pin. So since I do have a Molex here, I'll just plug it in. Molex are always kind of complicated connection. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it in there. Make sure it is connected. There you go, it's connected and here's the four pin. There you go, and there's the eight pin. So here, here it is. And now, let's put on the motherboard. I forgot a step. The IO shield, of course. Well, there it is. That's the IO shield. Now, let's put on the motherboard. Now, just to make sure I... Uh... All right, let's put on the Pico power supply. All right, there it is. And then the next thing is that the four, I mean the eight pin. This does not look good in terms of wire organization. All right, it's in there. Next up is the USB 2.0. it's in then the power so you know what all wires are all connected let's clean this wires up all cleaned up this is the best I can do I guess <laughs> put on the cover there you go it actually closes There it is. And you know what? I'm gonna turn it on and set it up. Well, here is the end result. This is the final build. As you can tell, it is quite small. I also have it hooked, it, uh, hooked up to the power brick. Let's turn it on. It's really quiet. The LED right there. Let me show you the power brick right now. Here it is. Almost the same size as the 
case, 120 watts. It's not heavy, but it will do. And then let's open the top up. This can tell everything's spinning. The exhaust is spinning. Everything's good. Now the only issue I ran into this was I think my memory was way too high. I think I should have bought a low profile cooler, but somehow I was able to get these two in, but they are bending up a little bit, just a little bit. And as you can tell, it's pushing the RAM, the top part uh, back a little bit more. It's quite tight, but again, it's not, it's not for performance uh, computer, it's something that she could just use and for everyday uh, work, processing, Excel, and then obviously your uh, occasional video browsing and watching uh, YouTube videos. And so let's put everything uh, back in and then close everything. See, as you can tell, it sits flush. It's now bulging and everything's all set. And if you have any comments, let me know down in the comments below. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this build. Very small build. Again, if you have any questions, let me know down. And I appreciate you watching this. And so, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.